Wrong Foot Louie, I didn't know about. I really don't know him. So that's somebody I love to hear about, guys, I didn't know about. I can't tell you enough about Louie. Really? I molded his house. Remember, I told you I was one of five that was brought up there to bowl anger on, on five teams. Right. And we made a lot of money, and a lot of the famous action shooters would be bowling in the park games. Hmm. I, I, yeah, Jake Charter was up there, too. Yeah, now, 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 Jake, like you said, he, uh, well, Jake, you said, didn't want to come down to the Black Lanes, but Jake had a pretty big name. Yeah, well, Jake was mentioned on one of the PBA tournament uh, pieces that I saw on, on, on in the wedding court. Uh, and, uh, well, I'll tell you, Jim Schroeder, I knew him. Jimmy was a good bowler, very, very good bowler. He came... Out of Buffalo, New York. Right. Uh, Pat Tarsio bowled in, in, in the league with us up in New York. Right. And then he decided with Lou, when they retired from the stuff, that they wanted to own their own house. Right. So AMF gave them the opportunity to do that. Mm hmm. And they, I don't know whether that house is still exists. Right, right. So I pulled up there, I think, for three years on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. I worked in I worked in the Bronx for Rice Pontiac. Right. So I would I would take myself a a quick uh, wash up and everything in in the men's room, and I'd be running up there at the ball three games and in the park. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but by the way, I've got all the shirts to put away. I cleaned all of them and I put them into a uh, garment bag. All my championship shirts. Well, well I tell you, it, shirts. Well, I tell you, I don't know if you have just a decent camera, not not a great one, just any new decent camera. Because if you took some nice photos of uh, your trophies, some of your trophies, uh, your shirts, I mean, I would well, put. I gotta, I, what I've got to do is two of them broke, and those are the two big ones. Right. Remember, I won four majors. Right. That's something nobody ever did. Mm hmm I won the Manhattan Match Game Championship, too. Really? That's right. Then they quit. Right. Then they quit. And then, of course, I was the All-Star Champion. Uh-huh. And I I, uh, I won that, and I set the record for the eight games. Right. Which is something well, I, they don't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff they don't do, but the thing that bothers me more than anything else, and Cliff, this is not for publication. You can understand the reason why. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. Right. I know. I know. And that's one of the things that they never gave me accolades. Yet the Sanction 300 is registered in St. Louis. Right. That's that's there, and that was at six, when I was 64. Uh huh. Uh, at Country Lanes, I, I told you that one, Staten Island. Right. And that one, I really made it. Oh, I loved that one. <laughs> that was the night I'll never forget. And I've got the ring to prove it. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. But I never got the ring for the 300 that I shot in Rainbow before they quit, because I don't think Bobby registered the eight. The, the uh, leads into the AMF, uh, to the what do you call it, ABC. Yeah, well, that could be. That could be. And I lost the ring because of that. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, hey, I got a ring. I, I got nine of them. Remember when I set the world's record for five games, I had two back-to-back, -back, almost three. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I'll tell you, that's shooting. Right. Uh huh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you you get one. What can I tell you? That's it. it yeah. It was nice to do it. And by the way, it was against Billy Picon. Yeah, and what lanes were those in again? Down in uh, Fort, Fort Damien. The house that burned down. Uh, uh, Fourth Avenue was that? That's downtown Fort Damien. Paradise. Right, right, right. And the week before, I shot eight sixteen on the same pair. Really? Wow. You put that in there too. That was an eight hundred. Hmm. Wow. When my league was uh, seven fifty six in Jersey in Elizabeth. <laughs> By the way, I'm standing here in front of some.
some of the trophies. Right. I'm going to give you some more insight. I have the only one that I know of, of a Brunswick 300 game that I threw. And uh, I'm not taking it off the wall, so I can't tell you what year it is. Right. I have a picture here of the first PBA Senior Championship in, the, in New Orleans in 1981. Hmm. And with 62 of us, and that was the bunch. Right. I've got the picture of that with all the famous guys. Uh-huh. And it just so happens we had problems. It was so bad as far as the uh, weather was concerned. It was so hot. It, it was difficult to hold the ball properly, even with any air conditioning. Right. I've got a Rainbow Lane tie game Ron Dick doubles. I've got a second place. 800 series in the men's. Right. In Mark, Mark Roth's Rainbow Lane. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, three. I have three two, two seventy fives and a 250 in Maple. Right. Um, I got, oh boy. I've got the Rupert High Game of New York. Uh huh. Something that nobody has. Right. Mm hmm And in fact I got two of them. Yeah, I realized there was a second one sitting there too. Right, right. Here huh? we go. Largemont Bowl. That's where I beat Ralph Bacon. Uh huh, Largemont. And Largemont, just a minute, I'm gonna take this off so I can read it. Okay, that's another famous bowling alley, Largemont. Oh yeah, that was action. Uh huh. Sixty-six. That's the year I retired from action bowling, <laughs> foolishly, like an idiot. I got married and I stopped. See, they should all be out in a beautiful display. That's right. I had a display, too. Uh-huh. Let me go in here. I'm going in, the, I'm going in the other room while I got you. So you get an indication of me. Really me. Right. Oh, I, when I got pissed off or I, I got angry, you can forget about it. <laughs> Right. I average 
was one, what was it, 196 or 199 from the inside when it was an outside house. Right. Ah. <laughs> That's going against the grain. I bowled against the grain. Right. <laughs> and by the way, Mike Lemongello, uh, we, oh, I meant to tell you, you know, when we bowled uh, in Long Island, after we got done with the team, we went, they had another tournament of singles and doubles. Did I mention that? Uh, no, you didn't. All right. And to proprietor league, that's how I learned how to go around Long Island, through the bowling alleys. Right. Uh, singles and doubles. Uh-huh. I forgot my doubles partner. Oh, he was good. We wound up, we wound up with a 36, uh, a 36 week league sponsored by the proprietors. They put up 10 grand. Right. And we wound up second, and I wound up with the high average <laughs> in the doubles, which was 199. Right. Remember, we never bowled the same housewife. Right? That's right. That's what makes it tough. And by the way, in order to get into it, you had to bowl four eight game blocks in four houses. Really? I tell you, I tell you, the, those were tough. Those were tough conditions bowling on leagues like that. Yeah, travel by the leagues. Way, I used to bowl out in, uh, out, in, uh, out in the island a lot, a lot. I cracked up old leagues out there. Right. Uh -huh. Anyhow, oh, the, 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 I got a there's a few few houses that were outside, and I just bowled inside. Right. <laughs> and a strong full roller did the job. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, held a, I held a decent line. Right. Uh -huh. Anyhow, uh, I was about to say something that slipped out of my head. Forget about it. We'll talk about it later. Uh, listen, thank you very much. If you got enough today, that's good. Absolutely. I got a lot today, and thank you, and uh, I'll speak to you shortly. All right, fine, Cliff. Take care. Okay. Bye now, Bert. Right, bye-bye. Right.